yo what's up this your boy xv coming through with another video of the x vision files today man in this video right here is very interesting man very very interesting um this reminds me of sandy hook all over again it has a weird vibe to it it don't seem authentic it don't seem real at all you know you know on this side we're gonna tell the truth you know what i'm saying we're gonna we're gonna dig we're gonna look we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna put some discernment on it, you know what I'm saying? But this is something ain't right about this. This is about the um, Uvalde um, school shooting in Texas. You know, dozens, over dozens of kids got killed, supposedly. And um, again, we don't see no bodies, we don't see nothing. We just going by what the news tell us. So um, let's 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 look at this video right here. Let's let's let's, let's see what's going on. Press it would take to figure out exactly what happened. But here's what we know right now. The first shots were fired in the suspect's grandmother's home a few blocks from the school. DPS Regional Director for South Texas, Victor Escalon, said during a news conference today at 11.28 a.m. on Tuesday, the suspect wrecked a truck he took from his grandmother. Escalon says at 11.30 a.m., someone called 911 to report that there was a crash and a man with a gun. But he sees two witnesses at the funeral hall across the street. He engages the fires towards them. He continues walking towards the school. He climbs the fence. Now he's in the parking lot shooting at the school. Escalon says... Okay, y'all pay attention to that time right there. Y'all see that time right there? 11.40 in the morning. 11.40. And I have a question. Where is the footage of of all this debacle going on? As far as him driving down the street, crashing his car, jumping out the car, shooting at the, the school. Like, where is the footage of all this? There's street cameras. There's, I'm pretty sure there's cameras outside the school. So, they're t the news telling us all this, but where is the footage? Where is the footage of all this, of, of all what happened? 11.40 a.m., the shooter walked into the west side of Rob Elementary. He walks 20 feet, 30 feet. He makes a right. He walks into the hallway. All right, y'all hear that, right? Y'all, y'all, now, now y'all keep in mind. Y'all see, 11.40 now, we're going to go back. Shooting at the school. Escalon says at 11.40 a.m., the shooter walked into the west side of Rob Elementary. He walked 20 feet. Okay, y'all remember that, right? Y'all remember that. At 11.40, he walked, that's when he walked in school. He's still outside. He walked in the school on the west side of the school, right? Check this out. At 11.27 a.m. Central Time, a teacher at Rob Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, uh, walks out of the building and props the door open. That teacher sees a truck crash behind the school. By 11.28 a.m., she has rushed back into the school to get her phone, leaving the door. Remember, remember on the last clip, they said that at 11.30, someone made a call saying that it, it was a crash in front of the school but they said it was people at a funeral home remember if you go back they say it was it was somebody at a, it was two people at a funeral home that made the call not a teacher at the school that propped the door open and seen and you see like stories are conflicting times are conflicting but let's continue propped open 11.30 a.m., that teacher places a call to 911. This is the first 911 call that we know of made from the school. Only three minutes now have passed since the shooter first arrived. Now, within a minute of that call being made, the shooter is inside, firing his weapon outside, rather, of the school. Excuse me. Now you heard, now, now you heard, now, now you heard what he said. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Because he said, excuse me on something. Let me see something. And around this time, the school resource officer arrives. And contrary to previous reports, he does not engage the shooter, but actually drives past him. So he don't, so he see a, he see a motherfucker with a gun, right? 
Now remember he said that he done made his way in the school already or that he seen him shooting at at the school or walking towards the school with a gun. He said the he said the resource officer seen him but didn't engage. He just rolled right past him. Come on, man. This this has got Sandy Hook vibes all day, man. But pay attention to the times. 11:33 a.m. The shooter now enters the school and fires more than 100 rounds in either classroom 111 or 112. We do not know which. Two Look now. Look what they said. Look. 11:33 the shooter enters the school. Now the last clip we seen, we seen the shooter still outside the school at 11:40. It was 11:40 when he was still outside the school making his way into the school. He wasn't in, but they telling us that at they telling us that at 11:33 the shooter's in the school. So he entered the school at 11:33. But this is what we see. Shooting at the school. Escalon says at 11.40 a.m., the shooter walked into the west side of Rob Elementary. He walked 20 feet, 30 feet. So what is that about? You see what I'm saying? What is that about? What is that about? Again, let's, 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 let's look at that again. Let's compare that again. Now, within a minute of that call being made, the shooter is inside, firing his weapon outside, rather, of the school, excuse me. And around this time, the school resource officer arrives. And contrary to previous reports, he does not engage the shooter, but actually drives past him. Something ain't right, man. Do y'all see what I'm talking about? The times are not matching up. Stories are not matching up. Something ain't right, man. Because if you lie about the time, basically everything else is a big lie. It's, it's a big stage. All they're trying to do is take away our second, our second, um, 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 you know, our right to bear arms. That's all they're trying to do. And they're coming up with these soggy ass stories and these false flags. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to bring that to your attention, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want to make this video long. I just wanted to bring that to your attention that pay attention, man. Like the, the, the media, we are in the last days, y'all. The media is going to lie they ass off. They're going to lie they ass off in these last days. So be careful, man. Believe half what you see, man. This is crazy. The times don't match, man. The times don't match up. The stories don't match up. Like I said, I got this Sandy Hook vibe all over again, man. They really trying to take guns, man. They really trying to take our guns. But anyway, man, this your boy signing off. XV, the X Vision Files. Coming to you with another thought-provoking and overlooked content. I'll see y'all next time. May the most high bless y'all.